In this video, we'll teach you how to send large video files from iPhone to iPhone, PC, or Mac. Part 1. How to transfer large video files from iPhone to Mac. Send files with Google Drive. Google Drive is one of the best options to send large videos and files that can virtually be of any size or type. All the Google account users can access Google Drive free 15GB storage facility for uploading and then sharing files. You need to know how to use Google Drive first if you don't know how to transfer videos from iPhone to Mac. The iPhone users must download and install the Google Drive app to upload or drag and drop files to the drive storage. You may share it with other particular drive users or create a link for others to access the file. The link viewing or accessing permission can be changed as per your requirement to just view and edit, etc. Send files via iCloud. Sending large video files or files from iPhone to your Mac is also possible through iCloud. One of the best ways to access your videos and photos is through the iCloud photo library. When your videos and photos are saved on the iCloud photo library, you may access it from iPod Touch, iPhone, PC, Apple TV, Mac, and iCloud. Step 1. iCloud must be set up on all the devices you wish to access your photos and videos from iCloud for Windows must be installed if you're using a computer or Mac. Ensure that you have turned the Wi-Fi on and sign in with the same Apple ID in iCloud on all the devices. For turning the iCloud photo library on from your iPad or iPhone, go to Settings, Your Name, then iCloud, Photos, to turn the iCloud photo library on. In case using iOS 10.2 or any other older version, go to Settings, Next iCloud, and then Photos. For setting up iCloud on your Windows, download iCloud for Windows, open it, click Options next to the Photos, select iCloud Photo Library, and finally click Done and Apply. For turning on iCloud Photo Library from Mac, click on System Preference, and then iCloud. Turn on the iCloud Photo Library from your PC or Mac. The computer saved images are saved to iCloud as well to access from all your devices. In this way, accessing large video files from iPhones become easy. Send files through iTunes. Are you thinking how to send large video files from iPhone or sync the PC or Mac photos to iPhone using iTunes when the iCloud photo library is not enabled? Step 1. Manage the images accordingly in Photos, Aperture, or iPhotos, and connect your iPhone to your Mac or PC. If the iTunes app doesn't open, launch iTunes. Step 2. Click on the Photos tab from the iOS device top bar. Next, to sync videos, click the checkbox. From the Copy Photos drop-down menu, click on iPhotos, Photos, or Aperture. Click the preferred option and sync from the right bottom corner. iPhone then copies all the videos selected. Part 2. How to send large video files from iPhone to iPhone. Send files by Dropbox. Dropbox is a cloud-based storage app. It helps in bringing the huge files together in one central space and can be synced with any device safely. It offers several solutions for individuals and teams with various packages. If you have a Dropbox account, you may send a long video from iPhone to any user, and the best part is that the recipient does not need to have a Dropbox account. You can upload it to your Dropbox public folder, and then just send the file's web link to the recipient. If you wish to send a long video from iPhone to people who already have the Dropbox link, whenever you send a new video or file, it can be seen by all in the account, making it an easy download instantly. Transfer files with AirDrop. How to send large video files from iPhone using AirDrop? This application's use is only possible when the person who wishes to send the file or video is near you. AirDrop uses low energy Bluetooth 4.0 to negotiate, discover, and broadcast connections. The Wi Fi point to point transfer makes the AirDrop sharing faster, secure, and power efficient. AirDrop can share almost everything like photos, passbook passes, videos, contacts, map location, voice memos, and whatever you can see on the share sheet. Few points to note are, you may choose to AirDrop between your contacts or for all. If a person is in your contact, both must be logged into iCloud, and if you send it to any random person, you might get prank AirDrops. If the person you wish to send long videos from iPhone has made the AirDrop receiving setting to contact, and you are not in that person's contact list, make him change the receiving settings to everyone. Personal hotspot must be turned off, and check if the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi are turned on. If you're interested in more useful content, check out flamora.wondershare.com.